Nearly 60 million Americans are under high heat alerts today as this summer's extreme heat wave continues in the southwest. The National Weather Service warned that temperatures will remain at dangerous levels from Arizona through Texas and out towards Florida. And as temperatures stay high, so do concerns about heat, health risks from the heat. NBC News senior medical correspondent Dr. John Torres has a look at a new heat alert system meant to help doctors deal with the dangerous health impacts of heat on the most vulnerable of communities. Watch. So this is essentially showing us how climate change is affecting the heat in the country. Exactly. Based in Princeton, New Jersey, Climate Central is a climate science and communications nonprofit. Seeking to save lives this summer, they just rolled out a first of its kind heat alert system. Andrew Pershing is one of the lead developers. We're able to use our system to generate alerts, to tell clinics around the country when they're encountering heat that's likely to be dangerous and allow them to put in place the plans that they have to help keep their patients safe. According to the National Weather Service, extreme heat is the deadliest natural hazard in the U.S. Children, adults over 65, and those without health insurance are the most vulnerable. Who are you focusing on? It's really the clinics that are working with the underserved communities because those are the, the people who are much more vulnerable, who aren't necessarily going to have air conditioning, who aren't necessarily going to have somebody looking out for them. I got a first-hand look at the new system. This is our heat messages, but then if I zoom in here on so heat messages for clinics... These are all of the places that we could be sending the messages right now. And that, that's most of the country. It's most of the country. So what this is saying is that they're, these places are above their 90th percentile, which is that locally specific temperature where conditions start to be dangerous. A typical heat alert message will look something like this. A personalized email to a health provider warning them of extreme temperatures relative to the clinic's geography. The message also includes links to a new toolkit developed in partnership with Harvard and AmeriCares, providing free information on how to keep their patients safe. So not just that it's going to be warm, but here's what you can do and here's the things you need to look out for. Exactly. There are currently 17 clinics in seven states enrolled in the pilot program, and Climate Central plans to expand its reach to benefit hundreds of clinics across the country. I think our clinicians are very much kind of under the gun in a lot of places, especially in you know, places like Houston that have just been so perpetually hot for so long this summer. Texas leads the U.S. in uninsured residents with almost one in five people without health insurance. The San Jose Clinic in Midtown Houston caters to a large uninsured population with most patients at or below 250 percent of the federal poverty level. It is also one of the first clinics to try the new alert system. Dr. Adlea Ibid is the chief clinical officer. So here at San Jose Clinic, you know, we really strive for health equity, and I think we can't have that conversation without really talking about climate equity. And there's a huge burden, especially in our patient population, with regards to occupational hazards and being put out in the elements day in and day out just to be able to earn a living. Oscar Ramirez is a construction worker and spends most of his days under the scorching Texas sun. Suffering from hypertension, he says he finds himself fainting during extremely hot days. Yo pienso realmente... Si no es este año el que sigue cambiar de, de trabajo, el calor me está afectando mucho. But thanks to heat alerts, Oscar's physician knows when to reach out and is able to advise him on how to manage extreme temperatures using the free online toolkit, also available in Spanish. To have someone who's actually sitting there behind the scenes, you know, forecasting and giving us the alerts and giving us the advice alleviates such a huge burden so we can focus on patient care. There'll be at the very least, saving people from ending up in an emergency room, hopefully, and ultimately saving lives. NBC News senior medical correspondent Dr. Do Dr. John Torres joins me now with more of this reporting. So, uh, John, I mean, what's the main output here, right? What is the advice once you get the data here about how dangerous this and so conditions there's, are? There's two important parts. One is the data to tell you that heat is coming. There's something you need to do about it. But the second part, which is the important part of the toolkit, working with Harvard Sea Change with AmeriCares, they actually give health information. Here's what you need to do. And the reason that's important is because the vast majority of clinic health staff saying, yeah, we know heat's coming, but we're not exactly sure what to do here. Mm -hmm. especially with our vulnerable, and this helps them, gives them not just the information that it's happening, but what you can do to help protect those most vulnerable people. Does it build in a structure, too, for employers and that kind of thing? You know, look, it's hot. If you live in Texas, it's hot all the time, but if you have a system like this and a structure to say, like, all right, this is triggered, my company needs to do X, Y, and Z, we need to do it today, and it's, it's systematized. It. Yeah, so it's giving them a lot of information. They can take that information and, and run with it and hopefully do something like that, and this is just a pilot project. They're hoping to expand it much more beyond this, and 
and they're also hoping to move it into other areas, looking at hurricanes, wildfires, floods, those types of things, basically make it kind of a central, here's how climate's affecting you, here's what you need to do immediately to make sure people stay safe, and then let's work on the bigger problems as time goes on. As time goes on, we're going to need it. Dr. Exactly. John Torres, thank you for your reporting you on this. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.